Hello there, guys and gals. Pearl Jr. here. How do I get that reflection off of my glasses? I don't know how to do that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Hi, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Well, uh, today is the one-year anniversary of our new president, Joe Biden, and our new vice president, sister girl, Kamala Harris. Woo woo. Uh, they've inherited a mess. I mean, just a complete, utter mess. Trump said he inherited a mess from Obama. Obama, oh my God, the economy was stable, solid, okay? No disease was ravishing the country like we have COVID, okay? Uh, worldwide, we were being, uh, we were respected worldwide. And now Trump just made a complete mess. We had more of an appearance of unity, <laughs> an appearance of unity. Now it's just straight out, we ain't unified, period. Um, and we proud of it, okay? So anyway, you guys know that I am not a Trump supporter, period. Okay, now they done found out that he done committed some more fraud. You guys uh, support him. You guys really need to rethink it. You really need to rethink it, okay? Because we can't have more corruption in the White House for next year. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. All right. But I am an activist and voting rights. We got to get it done. We got to get it done. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Back to Michael Jackson and the Jacksons. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know. I'll just do a little tiny review. I've been covering Michael Jackson since 2005 uh, trial. I was credentialed media. I was in the courtroom. I saw him come and I could reach out and just touch him, just touch him, you know, and there's little stories that I have told um, that I've written that are somewhere around uh, about some of the things that happened in the courtroom. And uh, he beat that case. And I did a documentary called Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael's father and Michael helped me get distributed by Warner Brothers. That was available to 50 million homes, 50 million homes uh, at the height of everybody looking Michael's way, which was I signed the contract uh, um, in May, seven weeks before the death announcement. So it could be ripe and ready, you know, when Michael was announced dead so that there was something on the market that said that uh, uh, Michael wasn't a pedophile and he isn't. Okay. Um, and also, uh, I found out the address to the Michael Jackson company was the same address as the address to my distributor. <laughs> woo woo, Michael. Right, Michael? All right. And also found out that the name of my distributor, Rock City Entertainment, was also the name of a company that Michael Jackson, Carrie Gordy, Barry Gordy's son, and Jack Wishna had called Rock City Club. Okay. I got a free ad in uh, the National Examiner saying Michael maybe did, right? Maybe, right? All right. Anyway, anyway, I can go on and on. You guys got to watch the Alive docuseries to learn so much more. You can't guess it. You got to learn it. Anybody that says, oh, it's ridiculous. Michael faked his death beyond ridiculous. Come talk to me, uh, Taj Jackson. <laughs> Come talk to me. Okay. I, I, my, my invitation is for any Jackson family member to please address why we believe Michael Jackson faked his death. And I am the foremost authority. Okay. Please. Not just say, no, it's ridiculous, Michael Michael uh, faked his death. No, that ain't good enough, obviously, okay? Because we were, we were already told Michael's dead, right? So we already know that people are saying Michael's dead. We're saying A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, one alphabet, W, uh, X, Y, Z, and then let's say A, B, C again, and then W, X, Y, Z again, and then A, B, C again, and then W, X, Y, Z again, and A, B, C again, and W, X, Y, Z 10 more times are the reasons why we believe that Michael Jackson faked his death, okay? Watch my Alive docu-series, and, 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 and you guys, I really want to do a Live 5, but I just don't know when I can afford to do a Live 5. So please, guys, just, um, um, just make sure that you watch the Alive docu-series. Okay, 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 the new stuff. Okay, Janet Jackson. I love Janet. I think Rhythm Nation, seriously, is one of the top five albums ever made in the history of music. I, I swear to God. Rhythm Nation was about social uh, 
issues, social justice. It was about racism. It it danced. It it had love music. It was beautifully executed. It was just freaking great. Okay, I love Janet. I love Janet since she was a little girl on on Good Times playing the character Penny. Okay, so Janet. Okay, I don't, I, I am going to talk about your documentary more the trailer more but i'm gonna do that next week so that it kind of goes with the hype that um you know of it airing you know not to say that i i'm all that you know but hey you know if i could reach you know you know two thousand people hey of, of the most dedicated michael jackson fans by the way or jackson fans that's a big that's a big chunk okay so anyway, we're going to talk about Janet and her trailer next week, okay? But 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 this week we're going to talk about this interview that Janet did. It was a little video that Janet did, and it is um. Let me turn this around. Janet breaks down her most iconic videos, okay? And she talks about you know all of them. She talks about with the scream video how Michael had to pay for it and everything else and um you know and, and laughing and just no sorrow for michael whatsoever no tears no no i miss michael uh or i love you know n nothing about emotion that her wonderful brother who was the really the talent that got them out of gary indiana he was the talent him and joe were what changed their whole life their entire life and in a big huge way all right, this guy right here, okay, hold on, right here, right here, this guy right here, okay, he was a good friend of hers, okay, he was a very good friend of hers, and she says for him, uh, for him to rest in peace, right, for him to rest in peace, because he died, right, so she said rest in peace to this guy that did her makeup and stuff, and she, he's a very good friend of mine, he did the uh, makeup for this, and uh, we uh, was very interesting. Where does she say rest in peace? Well, she does. She said rest in peace. Okay, uh, somewhere here. Let me see because I'm going somewhere. Uh, um, we we're looking at it. Did she say it before that? Um, she says rest in peace. Okay, about him, but she doesn't say rest in peace or anything about uh, about Michael. No rest in peace for Michael. Why don't, you know, why don't you do rest in peace for Michael? Um, I'm just saying. And so I thought, well, maybe he just recently died, right? So maybe that's why she remembered to say rest in peace to him um, because uh, he just died, right? So, uh, and I love the Scream videos. One of the, it is the most expensive video that's ever. He, may he rest in peace. There it goes. Okay, did you guys see it? She said, may he rest in peace. Okay, here we go. Uh, and she says, uh, may he rest in peace, right? May he rest in peace, right? We get nothing like that for Michael, nothing. And this is just her not practicing, you know, not just, just doing this. I am not a fan of Janet's hair here. I'm just not a fan. It's just not a good look. I don't like it. I think it's, um, it's, I, I, I won't say it because people get too sensitive, but I don't like it, you know, um, but, you know, hey, who am I, right? But I love Janet, right? I, I, I swear to God, I, I love Janet Jackson. I really do. I listen to her music. I work out. I wish her the best. I think she's fabulous. I love Janet, okay? But I am going to be honest about certain things in the trailer, okay, that she talked about. And uh, how come, the, and this guy died in 2002, Okay, Michael supposedly died seven years later in 2009. So you remember rest in peace for this guy. You don't say anything like that for your brother because Michael is not dead. Okay, Michael is not dead. Okay, nothing proves, nothing, nothing, nothing proves Michael Joe Jackson is dead. Nothing, nothing. Not one death document. Zero use his real name of Michael Joe Jackson. They use Michael Jackson. They use Michael J. Jackson. They use Michael Joseph Jackson. But nowhere on any death document is his real name of Michael Joe Jackson. Nowhere. Okay. And that is the loophole in which Michael would say, well, nobody ever used my real name. 
And according to the CDC and also the Department of Public Health, you're supposed to use my real true full name. So you guys should have figured it out. And we did figure it out, but we can't get people to listen to us, plus a billion other things. Okay, so I just wanted to bring that up. Okay, now let's talk about Taj Jackson. Hi, Taj. I like him too. Um, but, I, you know, I'm, I'm the Jackson, that generation fan. He is the, the kids of the Jacksons that I love, which gives me more love for them, too. But nowhere near the love that I have for uh, Joe and Catherine's nine children, because they were my age uh, growing up. And um, and I grew up just loving them to pieces. OK. All right. So Taj Jackson. OK, let's listen to Taj. OK, and then we're going to talk about this. I don't know if people think, oh, where am I at? Sorry. I'm, it, it, yeah, Brandon, uh, B. Howard is, I, for for any of the rumors that B. Howard is Michael's son, that's completely not true. And, and, um, uh, Brandy, my cousin, who um, is friends with B. Howard, you know, is, is the one, um, but I mean, to us, that's obvious. I, maybe to the, to the public, it might not be. But um, no, I mean, there's there's friends of ours that know um, B. Howard's family. Okay, that was complete ridiculous. I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, what? Okay, Brandy. When is Brandy and Brandon hung out? Brandy, Brandon, and I believe. That Brandy, Jackie's daughter, is Janet's child. It the age is off a little bit, but people can lie about their age, okay? And powerful people can do more than lie. They could make up stuff. They could falsify stuff. I'm I'm just saying. I don't know. But Brandy looks exactly like the DeBarge's father. Exactly. I mean, I, I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pull it up. I should have had that pulled up. But anyway, and then he says that Brandy hangs around Brandon. I've seen pictures of Brandon with Giovanni, which is Joe's love child by another woman. I've seen Brandon with Jackie Jackson. I've seen Brandy with Latoya. I mean, Brandon. I'm. Oh, let me go back. I've seen Brandon with Giovanni Jackson, Joe's daughter. I've seen Brandon with Jackie recently um, producing. Brandon produced Latoya and was on her reality show. Uh, um, and I don't know how he could forget this one. Okay. I, I, I just, I don't get, that's why we don't believe you. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. And I love this song. I love this song. I think it's a beautiful song. I've listened to it maybe 30 times because it's such a beautiful song. There is a song called Perfect Fit with Brandon, Taj, Terrell. So, why did he try to act like the family knows the family? Uh, and they know people and try to put space in between there because they full of it. You did a song with him. <laughs> Taj, why did you bring that up? Okay, our, our, their family knows, our, people in our family knows their family. What? Your father was his mother's manager. He grew up in your house over the, over the weekends in the Jackson family Havenhurst house. So B. Howard, T.J. Terrell, it says T.J. here. So whoever put Taj here, it's supposed to be T.J. Okay, is it T.J.? Is it Taj? I don't know. It's 3T. Because here it says TJ and Terrell and Jason Edmonds. But down here it says Taj and Terrell. Okay. I think it's TJ and Terrell. Okay. This is 3T. This is 3T. His brothers. Taj's brothers. So why don't you know about your brothers who are part of 3T doing a song with Brandon Howard and trying to make it seem like it's just Brandy that knows him. And their people know their people and make it sound so distant. 
okay, I'm I'm just saying. I, I'm I'm just saying. That that's why we don't believe you. That's why we don't believe you. Okay. People say maybe uh maybe uh Brandon's Joe son. Uh, well, let, let's, let's examine that. And I'm tired of defending it. And I've said this a billion times. Brandon looks like Catherine, the little voice that Michael has that Brandon has is Catherine's voice. It's from Catherine. Brandon does not look like Joe. Brandon looks like Catherine. Number two, Catherine didn't allow Joe's love child to come to her house, which was Giovanni. So why would she allow Brandon to be born and come over the house on the weekends and be a part of the family from today all the way uh, from today all the way back to when he was born? Okay? Let's 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 examine more of that. It's unforgivable. Marlon has a twin, had a twin that died one day after birth, named Brandon. Brandon right? Named Brandon. Don't let me forget about uh, Brandy's uh, picture. I'm, I'm going to have to look it up. Hold on. Named Brandon, who died one day after birth. Do you think that Catherine would allow Brandon in the house when Joe had a baby by another woman and named the baby her, her and Joe's dead son's name? Never. I'm sorry. That, if somebody, if you ever going to do something to your man, that's a reason because that is the ultimate disrespect and cruel thing to do. So, wipe that out your way that is Joe's son. He doesn't look like Joe. Okay, he doesn't look like Joe. Mickey lived at the house. When Mickey was pregnant was the time Michael was writing Billie Jean, okay? Billie Jean is about a son, okay? He says, my baby, his eyes look like mine. Oh, no, after he denied it, denied it, denied it. Back in the day, Joe and Catherine's era, okay, when somebody had children out of wedlock and somebody got pregnant out of wedlock, and you don't believe in abortions, Joe did not believe in abortions, okay? What you would do is you would say that it was a sibling, a sibling of, 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 of like, like it's uh, um, Jackie's kid, give the kid to a sibling, or say it's your own kid. Okay, you cover it up. Taj was seven years old, around seven years old when Brandon was born. So if the only people that know that Brandon is Michael's kid is Michael, Mickey, Joe, and Catherine, and it's a, it's a secret. Don't even tell the family member because it's too big and they can blackmail you. You can't trust nobody. Okay? Why would they tell seven-year-old uh, Taj that, you know what? We've been lying. He's really Michael's son. They wouldn't. Because how, do how, do how, how do you do that? How do you come from that? How do you tell? The secret started, okay, when Taj was seven years old. Okay, because that's when Brandon was born. Okay, so maybe he don't know, but he needs to watch a live four and see all the evidence there. Okay, because it all matches. Okay, all that stuff that's in a live four about Brandon being Michael's son ain't just there because it's, it's a coincidence after coincidence after coincidence after coincidence. Michael's even drawn pictures of Mickey Howard. Okay. He drew, drew pictures of Mickey Howard. We have Mickey Howard going to see Joe in an address book. We have the supposed cover of Daddy, Augie Johnson, on the Off the Wall album singing backup. So don't, I don't like that. Okay? Say, I, I, I don't know. Taj could say, I don't know. From what I know, he ain't Michael's son. Okay? Because they don't tell everything. He can't tell seven-year-olds, you know, psst, psst, psst. you know, this is really my kid. Psst, psst. You know, but I can't tell nobody. Okay? How are you going to come out and do that when it's a cover-up? So all, and then to act like, I, I haven't seen a picture of Brandon and, and, and Brandy. 
And it's funny that he put them two together. Okay, let me show you. Brandy. Uh, um, um, the barge, Daddy. The barge. The barge. Here we go. I think this is the picture. Okay. This is what I believe. Janet's going to never, they can never tell the truth because the public, it's unforgivable. You know, it, it's something that, you know, they probably contemplated, but it's not good. You know, people are going to say with Michael, oh, the black kid wasn't good enough, but the white kids are. It's a, it's a bad look. Okay, here we go. All right, so here is the, the barge's daddy. And here's Brandy. Now, you got to remember, this is a white guy, okay? The DeBarges are biracial. Their mother's black and their father is white, okay? So that explains why she has the mixed hair or what black folks used to call good hair, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, hey, and she's well, Janet's supposed to be addressing this in, um, in her documentary. I don't think she's going to tell the truth. I don't think so. And Janet was big back then. I'm just saying, Brandy, you might, your age might be up by about three years, two and a half, three years. I'm just saying. Okay, now let me, let me go to Michael and Brandon. Brandon and Michael, let me just show you that. Michael, oops, Brandon and Michael. I'm just saying. You know, I, I, I don't mean to cause no fuss, but I'm just saying, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that matches with Michael being Brandon's, uh, uh, being Brandon's father. There's a lot of stuff that matches with that. You know, the timing, you know, Mickey was there. She lived in the house. Um, Michael, Brandon looks like Michael and Catherine. And Brandon has the name where Michael would honor his dead brother by naming him in honor of his, his brother, naming him that. Okay. Okay. Let me, I'm, I'm looking at Brandon and here is young Michael and young Brandon. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put this picture up. Okay. Look at that. Sorry. That's Brandon Howard and Michael. And they sound just like the only people I know that got the similar voices are Michael, Peter, Michael, Bobby, and Brandon. Those are the only people I know that got that voice. Okay, that sounds almost identical. You know, there was this show called That's My Jam. And it's kind of like a name that tune type of show. And I was watching it with my daughter and my granddaughter because they love that show. That's My Jam. Which with um, uh, the guy who hosts... Uh, um, late night no 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 uh, tonight show okay Jimmy okay uh, um, and uh, they use microphones and each microphone can make your voice sound different and that's what I think Michael does with uh, Peter Michael Bobby with Bobby Anderson okay and I think Michael also has a fat suit that looks just like Brent, uh, Bobby Anderson right because you know I'm sorry you gotta watch a live three and a live four Jack Kruner is not Michael Jackson. Jack Kruner is Dr. A.J. Farshian. Okay, guys? Everybody keeps posting me that. It, it's not. Okay? All right. So, so, we, so we did that one. Okay. Now, I have one more thing. Uh, oh, baby Todd. That was so cute. Taj released... Um, uh, Taj released a recording that he had and I knew he had a lot of those recordings okay I knew he had a lot of those recordings um, because uh, he, he had testified that Michael gave him a box with a lot of different recordings in it and uh, so Michael had to give them to him because uh, Taj was a little baby so he couldn't have recorded it Michael recorded it so I think Taj got some, uh, uh, or at least that's an excuse to say we found some new music of Michael's. Oh, and Janet's supposed to be releasing a, a new song and a new album, too. So we'll listen, uh, you know, we'll wait to see if that's true. Where is the baby talk? It's so cute. And it's Michael. He loved children. He always loved children. 
They didn't get presents for their birthday or for Christmas. So when Catherine brought home a baby, it was like a gift. It was like their gift, you know? And Michael just loved kids, always has. Felt more comfortable around kids because everybody else wants something from him. You know, a kid, he could just be himself. A kid ain't worrying about, are we going to make a deal or, or trying to get some money out of him? You know, but the, he didn't realize the kids got parents, right? So, there's the baby talk. Here it is, right here. Here's the baby talk. Okay, and this is Michael's real voice. A lot of people say Michael had a deep voice. Yeah, it was a little deeper, but this is Michael's real voice, guys. Okay, um, here we go. Touch right. Touch right. Touch. Right. Touch. Right. What's your name? Fat. What's your name? Fat. How old are you? I care. How old are you? I care. How old? I care. What? I care. What's I care? <laughs> How old are you? I care. Oh. You know the comments? Yeah. You do know the colors? Yeah, I can. You lying. I ain't said a thing. I can. Hold on. I can. I'm putting it here. You 40 years? Yeah. 40 Six. years old. Enjoy the camera. I want to see. Can I hear? I want to see. Mickey Mouse. Don't know. Don't. Mickey Mouse. Forever let us out a hold of her. Okay, so that that's uh that's Michael's voice. It's so cute, and Michael just loved children. He really did, you know. And if I'm wrong about Brandy and Brandon, I totally apologize. But this is what I this is what the research has led me to believe. It's not just something that I I didn't I wasn't responsible where I didn't do research and all this other stuff. I've done a lot of research on this. Okay. And um, this is this is my conclusion. And like I told you guys, I have a friend that I went to high school with that ended up working at Motown. And the DeBarges were so assigned to Motown. And uh, um, Janet and uh, Janet went to Motown with James, and she was pregnant. And why else elope? Uh, well, I don't know. She, my friend said, I don't know if she was with James. My friend said Janet went to Motown. And she saw Janet, and Janet was pregnant. Many people saw Janet pregnant. Many people saw Janet pregnant, okay, at that time. And she had left and went to Philadelphia to start her own control. And that's when she broke off with the family, because not the family, but underneath her family's control. And she wrote control. She wanted to do her own life. Like, this is the last thing you guys are going to dictate to me. The last thing, okay? I'm after this one, it's all me. Okay? She eloped with James DeBarge, and then the family annulled it, and then she went out of town, had the baby, and gave the baby to Jackie and Enid. Right? That that it makes sense to me, right? It makes sense to me. But hey, I don't know everything, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, I have to I have to defend my research and my investigation, right? And if any of the Jacksons want to talk to me, I'm here. I like to do I'll do it privately. I'll do it publicly, whichever way they want to do it. I don't want to be in a fight with them, you know, because I'm a great supporter, you know, and I promote their events and nobody pays me to do this stuff, you know? I do it because it's my, Michael's my passion. Michael's been my passion since I was a six-year-old little girl. So now I get the pleasure of reporting on Michael, and God brought me to Michael in his darkest hour. I didn't plan on going to the 2005 trial. I just happened to have a TV show, and, and, and my mentor asked me to go down to the Jackson trial and to uh, pass out flyers because he wanted to be a commentator for the Jackson trial. And I didn't want to go, but then Cecil said, I'll go with you. And I said, okay, let's go. And since I had the TV show, True Talk, which Cecil and I got to put it on our Roku channel, make sure you um, go ahead and you add Michael Jackson Insider to your Roku channel. You need the Roku device, Roku channel, okay, to watch Michael Jackson Insider. I got three of our six documentaries on there. 
three of our seven documentaries because we have Barack Obama. Maybe I'll put Barack Obama. On. Okay. And uh, we have uh, A Prisoner of Fame. I mean, three of our films. We have The Trial and Triumph of the King of Pop about the 2005 trial on there. We have The First Alive that was on Netflix from 2011 to 2013. Uh, the first trial was distributed by Warner Brothers. The second trial was on Netflix. And uh, Prisoner of Fame was on Amazon Prime. Okay, so those are on our channel, Michael Jackson Insider, along with the 60 Lies of Leaving Neverland. Okay, the 60 Lies of Leaving Neverland. Okay, so um, with that, with that, um, I, 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 I want to tell you guys that um, when someone blatantly uh, leaves out big chunks of truth, you wonder why. I haven't seen, have, is show, somebody show me a picture of Brandy and Brandon hanging around. I, I, I don't remember those two hanging around each other. But I got pictures of Brandon and Jackie, Brandon and LaToya, video footage. Uh, Brandon and uh, audio, a song with Brandon and members of 3T. Uh, the mama, Joe was the mama's manager. Michael wrote a song about uh, a girl saying that he was the baby daddy and he said no, but at the end he said the eyes are like mine, oh no. Okay. Um, we have Mickey there at the house and you can't tell me that you in a house with Joe and his wife and, they're, and the Jacksons are still cool. The Jacksons are still cool. Okay. Uh, uh, with, with Mickey. They're, they're, they're still cool. Okay, because um, uh, years later, Mickey did a song with Jermaine. Okay, a duet with Jermaine. So when Taj purposely leaves out these huge, deep, long-standing ties with the Jacksons and plays it off like that, does he know or or he don't know? I, I, I'm I'm really confused here. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, all right. I got some stuff, some more stuff that I'm gonna leave for the next live. Uh, it's about a crazy fan. Okay, uh, that I'll talk about. And let's see. Uh, let's see if I have I have notes here. Okay, let's see. Mm. All right, so the next stuff, I'm going to try to go on live one more time, and then I'm going to go live because Janet Documentary is supposed to be airing. It's a two-day event that's supposed to be airing on the, um, on the 28th of this month, of this month, and on Lifetime, okay? And people... Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and um, I guess just watch the Alive docu series. Check out the Roku TV. I, I put in the channel lineup, add to it, search for Michael Jackson Insider, and then add it to your lineup. Um, I don't know how many, how long I'm going to keep this channel up. At least for a year, I think. I think. Okay, I'm going to try to see if I can just you know hurry up and go get the True Talk because that'd be great to put the 12 episodes. It's historic of the True Talk um, Straight Out of L.A. show that I did during my in, in real time. I did it in real time of the 2005 trial. I did uh, 12 or 13 30 minute shows. OK, uh, about the trial. Um, so um, and all everything did not make it to the documentary, of course. Right. Um, so anyway, guys, I guess that's it for today. But I, I'm going to talk to you guys about another crazy, crazy situation. But I don't want to talk about that yet. But maybe I'll talk about it in a few days. All right. Uh, let's see if there's any questions. Uh, sometimes you ever want to go to the movies just for the popcorn? <laughs> the movie's popcorn is good, huh? Okay. Yeah, he looks just like him. I've been following him. Yeah. It reminds me. And, he, and, and Brandon's skinny like Michael. Brandon moves like Michael. Brandon has mannerisms like Michael. Uh, I'm sorry. He sounds like him. I'm, I'm sorry. And Mickey, the reason why there's just a little bit difference in the voice is Mickey is an alto. 
she Mickey Howard is a singer, a fabulous singer, and she's an alto. And uh, and so out of her voice and 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 also Augie Johnson, he don't have that voice. Michael got that voice. And then I did an interview with Augie and Augie didn't even know whose name was on the birth Brandon's birth certificate. And it wouldn't matter. You can put whatever name you want on a birth certificate that that would not matter. OK, except for the real name would matter. And uh, let's see. You love my shirt. It's awesome. It's a two piece suit. It's a matching two piece. Uh, let's see. I think that's it, guys. I don't think um, there's anything else. Uh, I went to see the MJ musical January 10th on my birthday. It was very interesting. Oh, I want to go. 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 Were there any death hoax clues in it? Probably not, because Lee, this Lynn Nottingham or whatever her name is, I don't believe that she's, um, you know, a, a, a purveyor of Michael Jackson death hoax. She probably thinks she's too good to learn about the death hoax. Because a lot of people, you know, poo-poo me and push it off until they, they go, let me prove her wrong. And then they go and watch it like, oh, my God, she's like 100% factual and accurate. And she got proof, facts, evidence, and clues. Oh, my God, she's right. But you won't know that unless you take the time to watch it. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. I love you. Um, Pearl, come February 5th somewhere. Uh, a ton of us are going on that date. Um, maybe. Only thing is, is that it's so cold and I hate the cold. I hate the cold. I hate the cold. Um, but January, February 5th, I'll take that into consideration. Really, I'll think about it the next few days and uh, see if, you know, see if a lot of fans are going on that day. If they still have tickets, I'll see if I can go. All right, then. All right, guys. I love you so much. And I will talk to you guys next time.